Also, planners and geekers, this March theme was all about my love for The Sims. I combined my love of bullet journal with The Sims. And honestly, I've been meaning to do this um, flip through all of March. So I decided to do it at the end of March and the beginning of April. And that um, is a create a sim. It's supposed to be of myself. And I said I was, um, what did I say? Hang tight, hang tight. I can't read my own handwriting, <laughs> which is often the case with bullet journal. I said I, uh, my aspiration, lifetime aspiration was knowledge with a nerd brain and um, creative, geek, lazy, and good. So that was my aspirations for create a sim. Anyone who plays the sim, that's my cat. Anyone who plays the sims knows what I'm talking about. And you might remember in the sims 3 you had options for display type full screen. 3D score resolution high, sim lifespan, which was part of Sims 3, I said long, and free will, also part of Sims 3, I said yes. Now in Sims 4, you do have the lifespan option and all the above options as well, but I do kind of miss the um, being able to adjust the free will of Sims 3. And obviously for myself, I want free will, although sometimes I might think I'd be better off without it. <laughs> anyway, um, instead of birthdays, I wrote age ups because in the Sims, when they have a birthday, it's called age ups. And then each week I did what's called an action cue, which in the Sims game is all about um, the actions that you land them up to do. And any Simmer knows how annoying it is when it says the action cue is full and they have too many to do's in their action queue so I broke it up by week and then you might remember in the Sims 3 the repo man if you couldn't pay your bills on time somebody was kind enough to steal away your item and that made your Sims feel very sad there's a tracker that I did as well as a quote it says celebrate the stepping stones not just the milestones and then unquote I love from Thomas Jefferson I find the harder I work the more luck I seem to have and then I really went all out with the dailies I did it based on the sims just like in the sims games with their sims needs I did bladder fun hunger social energy hygiene and then I added a to-do list to make it semi-functional and I tried to do the corner thing that you see in your sims whenever you're in gameplay mode and as you can see, I'm not the greatest artist, so it didn't really turn um, <laughs> it didn't really turn out too well. Um, and you'll see that um, as I get further in the month, my drawing skills sadly did not improve. Um, I did kind of get uh, pretty true to this throughout half of the month. And then around the 15th of the month, for whatever reason, I just forgot to fill out my bullet journal at the end of the day so I lost track of the moods that I was feeling and those that don't play the sims um, you can see your character in the um, corner of your screen when you're playing and it's highlighted the color um, sort of coordinated with how they're feeling and then um, they got a home button on the end of the screen so if you're traveling you could go to your home and then they've got a cell phone which you could click and do various interactions with other sims like call them or you could browse the web take selfies so it's very fun so that's what i attempted to draw was their cell phone um, as you can see i'm not really an artist and then i had for my major goals which i did not finish i did not finish the script i started an email list but i didn't really do anything with it and then I wanted to do a Wednesday video each week, which, as you know, didn't work out. And then I have a quote that I loved from Casey Neistat's video, Do What Others Say You Can't. And then I used the rest of my bullet journal as a um, script for my newest um, contest that I'm working towards, which is a comedy script. So that's it for the month of March. I hope you guys enjoyed 
the sims um incorporation with my bullet journal sorry my hands are in desperate need of a manicure i was trying to keep the green as long as i could for this march flip through so i hope you guys enjoyed leave a comment down below if you've ever incorporated geeky things to your bullet journal until next time soul soul